Hi, hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to show you, give you four tips for drawing the figure. And my number one tip is to draw big to small. So you wanna draw the whole shape of the person and then work on the details. You don't wanna like draw the head and start drawing the eyes and everything in and drawing all of the details before you get the whole body in because then you're going, oh, I need to move this. We'll start that again, because I don't want to. And I don't want people to see that drawing. Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to be giving you three figure drawing tips that will help you with your figure drawing. And the first one is to draw big to small. So that means before filling in like any of the details of the face, you wanna just kinda of block in the whole figure. And that's why we started off with gesture drawing, because it's really helpful to have some of those in before you start drawing the details, because if something's off, it's a lot easier to fix it when you have not gone too far. So, <laughs> what I mean by that is, it can be tempting to just start putting in details right when you start drawing something but what you really want to do is wait because you might have something off and you might need to fix it. So, so you want to draw the whole big to small. So the whole figure and then the parts. That is going to save you so much time in your erasing. And that's also why I think it's also good to start with some gesture drawings. Um, that would be my second tip is to start with some simple gesture drawings just to warm up and kind of get your body ready to start drawing. So the first one is to draw big to small. Don't put in the details until you're sure that everything is right and where you want it to be. The second tip is going to be use some gesture drawings to warm up. So that's going to get you used to looking at the figure, looking for the figure, and it's gonna make figure drawing a lot easier because your body, you're like, you're looking. You're already in that looking zone or kind of habit, I guess, by the time you start. And then it's just gonna be a lot easier to draw <laughs> some of those other things in. The third tip is to th if you're probably drawing somebody with clothes on, and so what is important is to know what's going on underneath. So you wanna kinda draw and sketch in those shapes that are underneath the clothing before you draw the clothing on top, or else it's just not going to look very convincing when you draw that skirt and the legs just look really weird behind it because you're just not sure what is happening behind. So you wanna just kinda of draw those areas in first, those, not those areas, but those main shapes before you get started because it might feel like, oh, look, the legs are way too far over there, but really, um, when you drew everything in, it felt balanced. And so just go with it and it's hopefully going to be a way more successful drawing if you rely on um, what you had drawn before instead of like just starting to draw the dress and then draw the legs underneath. So those are my three tips. Start big to small, start with the whole shape, and then you can go back in and work on the details. And then the other um, suggestions I have are to draw some gesture drawings first just to kind of get you in the mode of um, drawing the figure so that you're just, you're ready and your eyes are ready and kind of, it's like warming up before you exercise, just so you're ready to do it. And that is kind of what gesture drawing is for figure drawing. And those are my three tips, but the last one really is just to not give up because it does get a little bit, um, it can be daunting to draw the figure because we're just so used to looking at people. And so when something's off with a figure drawing, we pick up on it really, really quickly because we're so used to looking at people. And so I think that it's uh, important to kind of just study the figure and look at it. That's what the gesture drawings are for. Make sure you get things in the right proportions. And that's the video that I showed you yesterday was like using the head to kind of measure everything out. And that will be very helpful. And then drawing these gesture drawings just kind of get you used to looking at the figure and maybe how they're moving and what's going on with the muscles underneath the clothing and what's going on so that it can look a little bit more convincing.
Those are my three tips. Good luck with your figure drawing. I hope you had fun um, learning the parts of the figure with me and proportioning. I still wish I would have drawn Frida yesterday a little bit better. I'm still working on her face, but. Um, so today, for your last assignment, what I want you to do is to create a drawing of someone that you know. And if something's off, check your proportions. Um, a lot of times we draw hands too small. That's another tip I'm just gonna throw in there. Your hand is about the size of your face, not your head, but your face. And the length of your arms together is kind of your height. So just kind of think of those things. Make, a lot of times too, if you make the legs a little bit longer, it looks right. And I'm not sure why, but that's just a tip. And you can check me on that one, but it's helpful. And anyway, that is all for today. Thank you so much for joining me for this figure drawing course and have a wonderful day.